What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so here we are in Fuchsia City. Nice and beautiful. Not so much Fuchsia. Kinda. I don't know. Is the floor Fuchsia? Probably. I do not know. But anywho, guys, we are here in Fuchsia City, and we got a lot of stuff to cover right here. Like, you know, just take a tour of the city, uh, see what it has to offer us. And then after that, yeah, I, I get it. We got the Pokemon Go park right there, which will be in the next episode. I will cover that. And, uh, yeah, pretty much everything else to go. So here we are in the Pokemon Center. There is an individual right here that you can talk to to learn a new move. As you can see, we've seen this kind of person before. He's like, oh, it seems like you've been having quite a marvelous adventure. That means I should increase the moves that I can teach your Pokemon. So, hey, you. Do you want me to teach a marvelous move to your Pikachu? Sure. So, as you can see, you do, you do now have the ability to learn Splishy Splash, a water type move for, for Pikachu. And, uh, yeah, it is, it is a water type move. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to take away Thunder for the time being because, well, Thunderbolt is more accurate than Thunder. It will help me in the long run. And I like to have a nice wide array of uh, moves for this Pokemon right here. So let's go ahead and take away Thunder. And look at that. We learned Splishy Splash, a very good water type move. Okay, so let's see. Is there anything else that we need to do? Uh, working on a Pokedex. Po oh, yeah. He's this, this telling me to go to the Pokemon Go Park, which we'll, you know, cover it in the next episode. And then there's a narrow trail that leads west out of Viridian City, right? Have you seen it? It leads to the Pokemon League, the organization that governs all Pokemon trainers. Hmm, okay, well, I didn't know that. Kind of. I don't know. And if you talk to this guy, you! Do you have a ground-type Marowak? If possible, I'd like to trade my Marowak for it. This guy will trade you in a Lolan Marowak, and luckily for us, we do have a Marowak that we did uh, evolve off-screen and all that stuff, so we're going to use this as a trade. Are you mentally prepared for this trade? All right, then. Let's go. Okay, so here it is, guys. We're saying goodbye to our regular Marowak. Bye bye And we're going to say hello to a Lolan Marowak. The benefits with this Pokemon is that I believe it's a Fire-type Pokemon, a Ghost and Fire-type. I could be wrong. Look at this guy, Alolan Marowak. Yes, I was right, both a Ghost and Fire-type Pokemon, the Bone Keeper Pokemon. And of course, it's Alolan form. And, well, this guy's gonna be like, whoopee! I love Ground-type ground Pokemon uh, Marowak. Let's trade again when we have the chance again. That is true. So let's go ahead and take a look at this new Marowak that we got. Uh, I believe it was at level 38. So let's go all the way down. And, well, as you can see, I have been capturing a buttload of Pokemon just to evolve some other ones. I did transfer a Gengar to my, to my PC right here, including a Porygon. And, well, let's see. I'm trying to find that, that Marowak right here. Let's see. Yes, I've been training my Pokemon up just a little bit, so let's see. Where are you, Marowak? Ah, there you are. Alolan Marowak. Let's go ahead and take a look at its summary right here. And this one, it's... Let's see. Ghost and Fire-type Pokemon. Let's go ahead and take a look at its judging. And as you can see, it does, it does have amazing stats. Its best stats include HP, Attack, and Defense. And let's go ahead and take a look at its attacks right here. It has Rage, Will-O-Wisp, Bone Meringue, and Thrash. So, yeah, a very physical attacker, a good defense right here. You know, I'm almost tempted of using them because it's both a Ghost and Fire-type Pokemon. But we're just going to we're, we're, we're gonna have to wait on that for a little bit right there. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to move on. Let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. You can't become a great trainer by raising just one of your Pokemon to be super strong. You've got to develop your whole team event evenly, but that's no easy task either. Gee, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Let's go. Okay, so... Viridian, or no, Fuchsia City. Oh, you, you know it. You love it. It is home to the Fuchsia City Gym, and we will be finding, a, a, what was it, Koga in there pretty soon. And then if you go right here... A forgetful, man old, or a forgetful old man used to live here, but I heard he moved to Route 12. The move uh, deleter and stuff. It sure is convenient uh, having a Pokemon Center right next door, but it means my rent is really high. Wow. Rent. Jeez. 
I thought people I thought people in the Pokemon world didn't pay rent, but eh, well, I guess I was wrong. So let's see. Let's go right here. And well, let's see if we talk to this guy. Hmm, you met Bill? He's my grandson. He's always liked rare things, even as a child. Well, that is true. And this lady right here? The Safari Zone Warden may be old, but he's still in great health. Though his teeth are false, to be fair. Yeah, well, it is what it is. That's what happens. My big brother Bill's job is transferring Pokemon so people uh, po people can send Pokemon to one another. He's one of the, uh, the developed of the PC system. Oh, and you know the Go Park Complex? He made that. Well, he made that too with some professor from a faraway region. Really? What professor might that be? I think it's the professor from the Pokemon Go game. Probably. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. We will be going to battle the trainers right here eventually, but let's just go ahead and take a look at what's going on right here. Let's see. This must be the Safari Zone Warden. Yes. Let's go inside. And, well, talk to him. You talk to him, he's gonna be like, A fit hood, this who's sure. What could me fit the tea, please, three tea? I'm gonna be like, Sure, um, oop, hook, three tea, what if? Don't know what you're saying. Uh, I'm just gonna nod and agree and walk out. That's probably what I'm gonna be doing right now. So, it would seem that he lost his uh, false teeth again, maybe, I don't know. And if you talk to this guy, the empty house was borrowed at, and repurposed as a place for to share information, but. With all these experts around, this place feels a little tense. Really? Let's see what let's see what we're talking about right here. And let's see. If you catch the same Pokemon species over and over and over, you'll get a catch combo. If you keep on if you keep do or keep it going, I hear I hear you'll be more than likely to run into a shiny Pokemon, which is kind of true. Let's see. If you catch a bunch of the same Pokemon species, the chance of you finding an item after catching them increases. If I go for Geodude and Onyx myself, ahaha. <laughs> this is true. Very, very, very true, guys. And, uh, let's see. You're more than likely to find an item after catching a Pokemon if you feed it a Pinat Berry first. Right? You've noticed that too, right? Now, what this gentleman has said is true because off screen I was doing a bit of a. Uh, I was doing a bit capturing of uh, both Pikachu or Aaliyah, which, hold on, yes, I was capturing Aaliyah or female Pikachus on combos, I believe I went up to like 60 different combos, and the reason why I did that was because I wanted the best stats possible for this Aaliyah, as you can see, bam, the stats are near perfect, just like its uh, male counterpart, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and go with, uh, the other Pikachu that I caught, I named it Raichu because eventually I will be evolving this Pokemon into Raichu. So let's go ahead and take a look at this male uh, male Pikachu right here. As you can see, it stats near perfect. Now, that one right there was amazing, but not only did I capture some pretty good Pikachus, but I also got myself a lot of candies because when you capture a buttload of Pokemon, you're bound to get a shit ton of candies. As you can see, the quick candies right here are at 621, and that is because I was doing capture ca uh, capture combos with Pikachus. Uh, quick candy right here, large, tough candy as well. It all came coming. I'm surprised that I didn't get a lot of Pikachu candies, but it all happened in the, you know, off screen while I was trying to capture some Pokemon right there. So make sure to do that if you guys want the best stats for the for the Pokemon team that you have. Trust me, guys, me playing this game has taught me a lot about picking the perfect Pokemon and all that stuff. And that's why I have team, like, I've assembled this team off their stats, basi basically off their stats and stuff. And, well, there you are, the the lure, the super lure right there. And, well, let's go right ahead and move elsewhere right here. Where should I go? Eh, well, you know, I will eventually battle it in the next episode or, well, after this. As you can see, all these Pokemon that you would normally see caged up are now free. Uh, let's see. Where's Sarah? I said I'd meet her here to catch Pokemon. I said I'm, but I'm catching all uh, some weird looks. Okay, well. Whatever, and the Pokemon Center was moved right here, which is pretty damn cool. And as you can see, Pokemon are right here, and we're getting a... Uh, holy crud! Pikachu is a little excited. Look at this guy! Slow! Look at that, Pikachu is like... Rocking the Team Rocket uh, uniform, but still having fun looking at these Pokemon. Look! Oh, man. 
Oh my god. Oh, he's playing around with the fire type Pokemon right there. <laughs> Let's go, Pikachu. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, look at that. Tauros. Yeah, to yeah, Pikachu's just having fun right here. Look at this. <laughs> with Psyduck. And, and look at that, Kabutops. Oh, yeah. Pikachu's having a blast. He's like, Pee! Okay. Alrighty. So, he met up with all the Pokemon right here. No, we cannot capture them. But still, that's very good right there. And, well, let's see. What's going on here? That Pokeball over there. Were you wanting that? Well, so was I. Huh. That's actually a Pokemon. Let's see. Oh, damn. It's a Voltorb. Yes, it is. Alright, so let's go in here, and what does this have to offer? Oh, yeah, this is uh, Pokemon I don't even know, but let's see. Talk to this guy. Let's see what he has to say. We nicknamed the Warden Slowpoke, because, you know, he was a he has a he has that vacant look like a Slowpoke. Hmm, you don't say. Talk to him. Warden Slowpoke is very knowledgeable about Pokemon. Even He even has some fossils of Pokemon I've never seen. Well, I, I, I do have to, like, two fossils that I still need to revive. And ever since uh, Warden Slowpoke went fishing the other day, it seen, it's been hard for, uh, to understand him. All he does is mumble and moan. Maybe his age is finally getting to him. You don't say. Okay, so obviously he's missing some uh, dentures right there. I don't know. Let's see. Talk to this guy. I thought I caught a glimpse of, a, of something gold and shiny out uh, toward Route 19. Maybe it was some kind of buried treasure. Route 19. Old and buried. Route 19. Hmm. Let's see. Where is Route 19? Maybe it's the next route that we have to go over. Probably. I don't know. Hold on. Let's see if we have a town map. We got to do this. Let's see. Uh. Oh yeah, there's a town map. Let's use this item. And well, here we are in Fuchsia City. Route 15. Route 18. Where the hell is Route 19? Route 16. Oh, okay. I think I know where. Hold on. 14, 13, 15, 19. Oh, never mind. <laughs> We're eventually going to get there. Never mind. Wow, Draven. Wow. Okay, so there's the Pokemon Go, Mar uh, Go Center right there, which we will get to in the next episode. We'll explain how you can actually get yourself uh, your Pokemon Go Pokemon. And uh, took a look at that. All these Pokemon right here. Kabutops or Kabuto. Then you got, I think, no Pokemon right here, but you got yourself a Tauros. Look at that, it's a very majestic Tauros. And, well, there's a Lapras right there that, you know, we'll eventually get. Not in this this area, but somewhere else. And talk to this guy, he's going to be like, This Lapras is getting on in age, but it's still a real, a real beauty, wouldn't you say? We used to arrive on the waves and travel a whole wide world together. Lapras is like, splash! Labras can't swim like it used to, so we'll stay here together. Thank you for listening. As a thanks, I'll teach a secret technique, Sea Skim. With this technique, you can travel on water. And look at that, Pikachu's like, hold on. The only person who's learning secret techniques is me, Pikachu. <laughs> Your Pikachu wants to learn it as well. I'm not sure if it, if it can learn it, but it's not a water type. And Pikachu's more than adamant to do so. You look determined, just like my Lapras. Okay, I'll teach you the technique then. Look at that. Now, you have to keep a balance on the water. Lower the center of gravity and keep a balance with your upper body. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. It learned sea skin. So there we go, guys. We, are, we got ourselves a new secret technique. You did great. I'll give you, uh, I'll give you that board, too. Ride the waves and travel a whole wide world together. Okay. Now, I kind of feel like we need a badge for that. Probably, I don't even know. But anywho, we're going to be going straight to the to Route 19 because we need to take care of a little something right there. I do believe there is something golden around there. Somebody told me this. Uh, you know, we're around the grapevine, grapevine. So, let's go downstairs right here and... Uh, huh. It's Team Rocket. We heard a lot of, uh, that there were loads of rare Pokemon in that Go place, so we came to check it out for ourselves. But it was it was so complicated. 
App this and connectivity that. It was so creepy. We had to just get out of there. Meow. Why can't I just trip over and I trip over and get Riz Quick Scheme already? Hmm. Feels like I kicked something really hard. Could it be some kind of treasure? At last, our big score. Let's see what it is. Heave ho! Wow. Just look at the shine. This must be some amazing treasure. As if yuck. What are these? Some kind of gold teeth? <laughs> teeth. No matter how gold they are, some things aren't worth the, the effort. Ah, it's you, Twerp. What are you doing here? Never mind that. Take these off our hands. And, wow. She's being nice to me and all that stuff. So, we get ourselves the cold teeth. We're busy, so you take care of whatever do, uh, those are for us. That's right. Now is the time for us to fantastic getaway. Oh, well, uh, Team Rocket doing a good deed right there. <laughs> So we found ourselves the gold teeth, or they helped us find the gold teeth, and well, there is an item right there. So I'm gonna just grab this little thing, and look at that, we found ourselves a full heal. Not that we need it, and we do have trainers waiting for us right here, so might as well just battle. You know, finish off on a good note right here. Now, off screen, yes, I've been training, kinda, while capturing Pokemon, and Sparky did grow quite a few levels, so we're gonna give the reins to Dragonair right here. Let's see what it can do by this guy. Wait, slow down. You have a heart attack. Hmm, probably. I don't know. So here we go. Taking on uh, Swimmer Reese, and of course he will be coming out with his Dratini, so look at that. He knows what I was talking about, so here comes a Dragonair. Battle of the Dragons right here. Look at that. Look at that. I am your Faja. Let's go with the Dragon Tail. Super effective right here. Yeah, buddy. Say goodbye to Dratini. Look at that. Look at that. And, well, that was pretty much it right there. So we get some... Yeah, we get some money and some Pokeballs right there. And, well... Let us move on to the next guy. See if he has a better Pokemon. And this guy's just avoiding me. But no! I have to exercise and warm up before I'm going out for a swim. Hmm. Yeah, don't say. So here we go. Swimmer Richard battling us with only one Pokemon. And he's coming out with a Starmie. Now we all know we got some history with Starmie. We do. We got some history with Starmie. But guess what? We got Thunderbolt too. So... Here we go with the Thunderbolt, and wow, it's going to minimize, it's just trying and evade us. Okay, so, god dang it, just missed it. Alright, Thunderbolt, come on! Ah, jeez, here comes that Surf Attack, and, well, it's not super effective, but it's still something. Here we go, Thunderbolt. Nearly takes care of Sarmie, so we're going to finish this guy off one more time with a Thunderbolt. And there goes another Minimize. Jeez. Okay. But guess what? Still won't evade me and all that stuff. So there we go. Another Thunderbolt for the win. Take that, Starmie. And look at that. Sand Slash grows to level 45. And uh, yes, you're all warmed up, but I just beat you. Gattaca. Okay. So... <laughs> It was rather, uh, that was a short episode right there, but guess what, guys? In the next one, we will be going into the Pokemon Go Park, and I will be showing you guys how to capture uh, your Pokemon Go Pokemon, and yeah, we'll go from there. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.